All right, we're going to talk MMA now, joined by our good buddy, Pally Han of SPG Cork City. Pat, how are you, boy? Not too bad, how are you? Good, good to see you. Tell us, where in the world are you? Uh, I'm currently in Mexico City, I'm doing a two-week quarantine in a hotel. Um, I'm getting ready for a fight over in um, Miami, but I'm not allowed straight into the USA uh, yet. So I have to do 14 days here, and then from here, go and fly, to, fly straight to Miami. How have you found the whole quarantine experience and I suppose how difficult has it been to, to train and kind of get a routine going in that kind of a bubble that you're in? So when I was actually coming over, I didn't know I was going to be in full lockdown for two weeks or whatever. I thought I'd be able to kind of get out of it. But um, we got here. It was hard at start. The TV, everything was in Spanish. We had nothing. We couldn't like, uh, we couldn't <laughs> pass to the TV. So we couldn't even put on YouTube. We couldn't do anything. Yeah. But we have... Um, a fella called Diego looking after us so he kind of if we need anything from the shop or need, need anything at all we text him um so we got him to get one of his friends to rent his playstation to us so we're just <laughs> watching youtube on the tv all day basically just watching fights um we go train then we record everything we do a training and just re-watch everything then on the tv after that's basically all we're doing watching fights and watching our training footage every day um it's good, like we're it was sometimes you'd be cracking up like um but it like it, it gets you to focus, you know, focus mm-hmm. on the task at hand. So who's in Mexico with you? Uh just Ethan. Ethan from uh, SBG Kalani. He he dropped everything. So he started um training in SBG Cork. He's a really, really good uh jujitsu guy. So he he decided to make the transition to MMA. So he's um down in SBG Cork with us now. He dropped everything and flew over for a two-week quarantine in Mexico and then over to Miami to, to help me fight. So, Excellent. so will, he, be, will he be cornering you now for your fight? Yeah, he'll be cornering, yeah. So that must make the whole experience a little bit easier, I suppose, having Ethan there and having, I suppose, a training partner in, in quarantine. Definitely, yeah. So Ethan has a very good mindset coming up to, like, when it comes to training and everything. Like, he's very, like, uh, methodical and he, he you know, it, he's a very, very good training partner. So... It's brilliant to have him here with me. This is your pro debut as well, Pat, isn't it? Yeah, long awaited. Yeah, because we spoke, was it a couple of months ago, and you're due to fight, and, and that fell through. That must have been very frustrating. Yeah, we, there was, you know, over COVID, I've just had so many fights fall through over the past year and a bit. So um, I had one in England on Battle Arena, but when this fight came up in America, this was such a big deal. We had to sit down with the lads in, in over in Battle Arena and we were just talking to them. We explained it to them and uh, we came to an agreement on that. So we, we decided to, we'd have to uh, cancel that fight and, and take the bigger opportunity in America. This is a huge opportunity as well, Pat. Can you tell us how this whole deal with combat came about? Yeah, so my coach, Liam Moog, and he has a, a, he runs a podcast. Um, in the gym, and there's a fella on the podcast called Paul O'D, and he's um, he'd be in contact with the with the owner of um, Combate Global, um, Campbell McLaren. He's like one of the founders of the UFC, so he he's the one who actually he sent the email or whatever got got in contact with Campbell, and Campbell got back. And originally he said no. He said. Uh, or Liam Liam put my name forward for for a spot and um, they said no and then um, a few things happened some things fell through and then Liam really made a push for me and um, he got me on the show so that's how I got it now I'm like living the dream fighting in America <laughs> yeah that's quite um quite a way to make your pro debut I mean it's it's such a massive stage for you I guess yeah yeah compared to like um like Everything, every show I fought on, like that I was meant to fight on a uh, pro debut, you know, they're all very, very small. Usually you start off very small, mm. like in a, kind of regional, regional fights or whatever. So you, there's no real, no money in it. You just kind of got to rack up a few wins before you get to the big show. But I basically fast tracked myself to a huge show, um, which will will is, is such a big deal. Like it, in this part of the world, this show is one of the biggest. Yeah, it certainly is. And it's going to be streamed on Irish TV as well, which is massive exposure for you, and I suppose, um, like the, the sport as a whole, I guess. 
Yeah, it's on um, it's on Air Sport. I'm not exactly sure of the details yet if it's live or if it's the day after or what what's the story. But I'll find that out this week, and I'll be posted on my um all my social media is like so. Facebook would be Pallyhan MMA or Patrick Lehan, um, and Instagram it's Pa underscore Lehan. Um, so um, you don't know who you're fighting on Saturday, is it or Sunday? I do, I do. I, so it's a four man tournament. Um, oh, yeah. So I'm gonna fight twice in one night. I'm fighting one fella. It's actually all European fellas. So there's one um, French fella, there's a Italian fella, and a Spanish fella, and me from Ireland. So I've got a, I've got the Spanish fella first. He's um, to be fair, they've all got their records are are like good enough. So they all have like a lot of pro fights. I'm making my pro debut, and they all have one fella is five and zero, oh, so five wins and no losses. One guy is eight and three, so eight wins and three losses, mm-hmm. and that's the fella I'm I got first. Um, and the other guy is I can't remember. He's got a good few fights as well. Um, so I'm actually technically fight. I'm fighting on paper the most experienced guy of the lot first off, but um, I actually have more fights than him in the long run. I've been doing this so long. Like I, I've been boxing my whole life. Um, I've been to, doing taekwondo. I've uh, had so many novice and amateur MMA fights. I've like been to the IMAF World Championships multiple times. So I actually have a lot more experience than all these guys, and I think I'm definitely the favorite to win this. Um. So yeah, it's an eight man tournament, as you say. Um. Is it the three five minute rounds? So the first fight is only one five minute round. So you literally got to go balls to the wall for five minutes, and <laughs> you have to win that round. If you yeah. lose, you're out. Right, so you gotta gotta win that, and then you gotta take a break. I don't know exactly how long, and then you're back in. You're fighting three five minute rounds against the winner of the other side of the bracket. That sounds like an intense night ahead. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, how have you found, I suppose, stepping up from from three minute rounds to to preparing for a five minute round fight? I think I've actually been very very good fitness wise. Anyway, I've always had very very good cardio, and um, I take that side of my game like very seriously like I, I i absolutely love conditioning i love running i love that whole part of it like the the whole strength and conditioning part of the game so i think i'm um i have nothing to worry about i have i'm definitely in the best shape i've ever been in so we'll see we'll see august 1st and um i suppose a big prize in offer as well i mean like if you win this tournament you go into a bigger combat tournament down the line yeah so actually um this would be good news to all the irish fighters um i thought i was going to be able to get a spot at there's a there's an eight-man tournament at the end of the year and the winner gets one hundred thousand dollars um which is like life-changing money you know for some of some of my age so um i was really excited to because if i win this i i get a spot ireland gets a spot in that competition so i obviously thought i got a spot in that competition but we looked into it um and it actually is my country of Ireland has a spot in the competition, but the weight division is too low for me to fight it. Mm-hmm. It's 125 pounds. So when I win this, there's going to be a spot for a 125 pound fighter in Ireland somewhere to win a hundred thousand dollars. So wow. you can thank me later if you win. Yeah. You have scored to say that you'll have every fighter at 125 pounds. Thank you. Should that happen? Um, which would be absolutely fantastic. Um, it, it's, I suppose is pressure a factor heading into something I mean like you're making a pro debut on such a big stage in a big tournament like this fighting a guy who's a lot more professional experience than you do you feel pressure or do you does it bother you at all as a kind of like water off a duck's back kind of thing no not at all I've, I've been doing this so long and I've been preparing to make my pro debut for so long I've absolutely no pressure I just want to fight is what I really really love doing this past year and a bit has been very tough because I just haven't been able to do what I love doing so um be able to do it on such a big stage or and and you know against a fella who's on paper meant to beat me um mm. i'm i'm excited to to show everyone what i can do yeah and it looks like it's going to be streamed or, or screened on air sport as well next weekend which is like and massive exposure i guess and great news for the leech mob i believe yeah yeah it's on it's on air sport i'm not exactly sure um what channel yet but but i'll find out during the week yeah, it's fantastic, and it'll be fantastic to 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 see you perform on that. Um, do you reckon your opponent is looking at you making a pro debut, looking to record, going, kind of underestimating you a little bit? Um, probably, 
probably to be honest i've but i um so i i trained over in spain in a in a gym called lilius barnett um they're one of the best gyms in spain um and i i obviously texted them when i found out i was fighting a spanish guy i texted them and i got a bit of, a bit of details on your man because they obviously they know they know him better than me so no i'm not worried i'm not worried at all about this fight yeah have you have you been able to see much of him now in the build up to it or is that something you do yeah we we've uh, we've rewatched all his fights many times so we know exactly what what's coming excellent stuff um so what's the plan now for the the rest of the week we are so this week we're kind of all the hard training is pretty much done. We have a couple of days of hard training left, and then on Wednesday we're flying to Miami. Um, and then yeah, I don't know what the story is there. We're just probably chilling out, getting a haircut, getting ready for flight, getting our hair and nails done. You know, that's the important part, yeah. Uh, and then yeah, fighting on Sunday. Excellent stuff. Um, dude, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. I'm not going to wish you luck because you don't need it on Sunday, and uh, really looking forward to to watching you perform. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.